Thank you for your interest in our products and welcome to the overview of the GD82 ProFlame Remote Control System. To begin, we must ensure that both the transmitter and receiver have power. The transmitter is the handheld component, while the receiver is the component usually located behind the lower louvers of a fireplace or mounted to the wall. The receiver needs to be plugged into a standard 110 volt outlet while the transmitters require three AAA batteries. A small battery icon will appear on the LCD screen of the transmitter if the batteries require changing. To access the batteries, slide the lower back of the transmitter off by pushing downwards with your thumbs. Replace the batteries, ensuring the correct positive and negative positions. The child safety mode disables all buttons by pressing the on-off button, then the up button within one second. This can be performed when the system is on or off. Simply pressing the on-off button, then the up button within one second once again will reactivate the remote. The dip switches on the receiver are used to set your personal control code, which is referred to as the address. It may be necessary to change the address in locations where other remote control systems are found to interfere with the operation of your fireplace. Follow the instructions contained in your GD82 manual to make this change. To operate the transmitter, press the on-off button. You will notice a slight delay before the receiver responds with a beep confirming the receipt of the signal. When turned on, the cursor a small triangle icon on the remote transmitter will be located beside the large flame icon at the top of the display. This position enables you to manually change the flame height to one of the six settings by pressing the plus or minus button to the desired level. To choose one of three preset automatic flame modulation modes, move the cursor to the double flame icon by pressing the down button once. Use the plus or minus button to choose the setting you prefer. Each of the three icons in this frame represent three different cycles that will change the flame height every 15 seconds for a total cycle of two and a half minutes. This mode automatically defaults to thermostatic control and therefore the transmitter must be calling for heat for the flame to be on. To control the temperature of the room, move the cursor down to the thermometer icon increase or decrease the set temperature using the plus and minus buttons. The flame will cycle on and off automatically as the transmitter senses the need for heat. The temperature beside the house icon represents the room temperature, which is sensed by the location of the transmitter. Moving the cursor down to the next position will control the blower operation. Pressing the plus button will increase the blower speed, while the minus button decreases it. The next row down controls the timer. Pressing the plus button adds time in increments of 15 minutes, up to a maximum of 90 minutes. Move the cursor up or down to start the timer. In this mode, the fireplace will automatically turn off upon the expiration of the specified time. Moving the cursor down to the auxiliary position will access control of the nightlight feature in the fireplace. Press the plus button to turn the light on or minus button to turn it off. Finally, press the on-off button again to shut off the fireplace and remote control system. This concludes our overview of the GD82 ProFlame remote control system. Thank you for watching.